reminded me of this. I, it just got triggered in my head. I just got reminded for it. I don't know why, but um, I was naughty. Like I was a naughty boy at school. Very naughty. Um, I always used to get in trouble. Uh, I was always bad. Um, anyway, so you know every school has a uh, has a school ball, a ball or a dance. We call it the dance, where you dress up in suits and you have a dance. Yeah. Uh, well, because I was so naughty on the last day. And I didn't even think I did anything that bad. I just don't think the teachers liked me. They banned me from going to the dance. Like the la it's like the dance, like the last day where you get to pick a girl and go to a dance with. They fucking banned me from going. And they banned me from having the last day, the very last day of school. Yeah, they said I couldn't come into school. Like what the f what type of fucking teacher does that to a kid? That shit scarred me so much because they all took pictures and they all took pictures of them, like, dancing in their suits and ties and, like, going out and saying how much fun it was. And I was just left out. And I always, I was already a, a uh, not a reject, but a fucking, an outsider, an outcast, you know? So it just gave me more reason. And ever since that moment, I never talked to anybody again in my school. Like, I just kept, like, I don't keep in contact with anybody from school. Yeah. It's my fault. I... I shouldn't have been naughty, boys. I shouldn't have been naughty, but, dude, I was a kid. I was fucking 17 years old. How are you going to fucking do that shit? Oh, wrong way. To a kid. Fuck prom. Prom? prom. How'd you say it? Prom. Fuck prom. Did any of you guys get a pr prom? I don't have to say it. Prom. 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 Did any of you go to prawn? 70 year old kid. Dude, you're not an adult when you're seven. Boys, if you're 18 or 19, you're a kid. I don't care what you say. I was 19 years old, I was making Minecraft videos. Playing with fucking pigs. You could murder somebody at 17 and you won't get you won't get an adult sentence, you get a child sentence. It depends where you are, yeah. I'm not like trying to like, but like, I think a te I can remember a 10 year old kid, I think it was near my area, he pushed his brother in on in a train, in front of a train. Yeah, he, he, he didn't get, I don't think he got prison time, but I don't know, what do you do? I didn't know what the, the sentence was, I never really, but. He pushed his baby brother. Like, how do you do that if you're if you're if you're a kid that's ten years old and you push your baby brother in the pro? No, I, it, it wasn't fake. I promise you. It, it might sound fake and unbelievable, but I, I promise you, it's 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 real. Fake stories. Okay. Well, everything's fake now, boys. Apparently. I want to tell you guys another story. Get your cool story, Bob's out. It's about me and Ice Poseidon, and it reminds me. This reminds me of Holiday Hollywood Hills, and this is why it reminds me of the situation I was in. So me and Ice were chilling, streaming as we do. We're in an Uber, and there was a there was a a party, a house party, a posh people's house party at the Hollywood Hills. And I was thinking, boys, there's gonna be some good ass content. We're gonna, hey, we're gonna go there. He's gonna be like, fun motherfucking CX dude, fuck it, dude, fuck in in a Hollywood mansion party. And this is when Brandon Hampton wanted to come, but we didn't invite him. And then Brandon Hampton said, I went to the best mansion parties. Remember that time? Anyways, I went to the, I went to the Hollywood Hills. We went to the top. And you'd think Hollywood Hills, lots of money, good internet connection. No. The internet, conne the internet connection was terrible. And he couldn't stream up there. And we actually had zero internet connection at all. So the stream was off, we had no Twitter to look at, no nothing. No Uber to call either, because we called an Uber up there. How are we going to call it back when we don't have internet connection? So we had to walk together to the bottom of the hill to get internet connection. And the time that we spent about 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes walking together, just me and him, no internet, no nothing. And I felt so happy with him, because I was just like, I'm just chilling with ice, we have no internet. We were bonding, it was like me and him were bonding, you know, like... I don't know, it was just like a good, feels good moment. And it was just like no internet connection, we came down, and it was just like, 
I know, like, we like, like, we're just talking about life. And I, that was that moment I really liked Ice. Like, I really liked him. I thought, you know what, Ice, you're a good guy. I fucking love this shit. I could bond with you all day. Because, look, when you've got the camera, you have to put on a act or a persona. Or a, you know, you have to be hyped. You know? But when the camera's off, there's no internet. It was just me and him. I don't know. It felt good. It felt good. It felt good, yeah. And that, I, I've never really had friends. Like, I've had a lot of friends, but I've never really had, like, new new friends like that. It's always been old people, like, and it's hard to explain. Like, I've never had, like, a, I don't know, not many new friends. So it's nice to have a new friend that I could just chill and connect with. 